Hello there. Thought I'd join in on the Sephora VIB sale excitement and present a few of my favorite products that might make great buys and also share what's on my wish list. No better time than a sale to stock up on your favorites, tackle your product wants and needs, and maybe grab a luxury item that you wouldn't usually splurge on. Sephora Australia sadly operates under a different rewards and sale system, so the VIB sale isn't happening here, but I'm going to be in the US in a few weeks, so half of this video really is a wish list of what I plan to pick up when I'm there. But the first half will be recommendations of some of my recent favorite products. Obviously only my personal thoughts, I'm certainly not telling you to buy anything, so it's worth doing a bit of extra research before the sale. But you don't want to hear that, you just want to buy nice things, so let's do it. Bronze and Glow up first. Burberry gets a bit neglected in the YouTube beauty community, but it's one of my top two favorite brands. Their Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base is a glowy illuminating primer I often wear alone on good skin days. It's a nice alternative to the Victoria Beckham for Estee Lauder Morning Aura Illuminating Cream. The Burberry Face Contour Pen is one of my favorite subtle bronzers. It's a super creamy formula, it blends beautifully with fingers, and I love it as a light brown wash on the eyes to add depth to. Likewise, the Burberry Highlighting Luminous Pen is a lovely subtle cream highlight for inner corners, it's perfect size to get in there, and also for the high points of the face. I'm a huge RMS Beauty fan. There are two brand review videos on my channel if you'd like to hear more. These little pots are quite pricey though, so it's worth trying them with a bit of a discount. Their Beauty Bronzer is a multitasker that gets a big tick from me. Dewy, glowy bronzer that warms up the high points of the face and also looks lovely on the eyes. I've sworn by the RMS Living Luminizer for seven years. It's the pearlescent cream highlighter that just about invented that natural, lit from within, dewy look. But more recently, that's been overtaken by their Champagne Rosé Luminizer for me. Lucky enough to be sent this by the brand's creator, Rosemary Swift, and it is just stunning. A perfect pinky champagne shade that adds a beautiful glossy glow to the face. The YSL Glow Shot Highlighter in Sunrise has been another favorite this year. A thin cream formula that has a similar baby pink glow. It's super smooth and sheer, so it blends really well and looks lovely on eyelids too. Moving on to Cheeks, my favorite products to play with. The Tata Harper Volumizing Lip and Cheek Tint in Very Popular is one of my 2018 favorites already, and Gwyneth Paltrow and Emma Watson love this too. It's such a beautiful peachy brown shade with a dewy finish, and surprise, surprise, it looks great as a lid tint as well. RMS Lip to Cheek Pots have made many appearances on my channel. Beloved is a poppy red favored by Miranda Kerr. It's perfect to create a bright stain on lips and cheeks. The RMS Signature Set palettes could be a good way to try the brand for the first time during the sale. The Mod Collection gives you the Living Luminizer, Master Mixer, two lip to cheek shades, and a coconut lip balm. Becca is a Sephora favorite, and I really like their beach tints, a lightweight cream formula that creates a healthy flush on cheeks and a just bitten tint on lips. Watermelon is a perfect deep peachy pink, and Fig is a lovely blushing brown. More of a luxe cheek choice is the Lancome Cushion Blush Formula, as recommended by Lisa Eldridge, a delicate liquid light layer of color that can be built up or sheared out for a really subtle look. Or for powder fans, the Kevin O'Quinn Neo Bronzer in Sienna is a beautiful sunset ombre powder for glowy cheeks and even eyes too, because you can make out about five separate shades. The next two are multi-purpose, but I've put them in the eyes category because they're all I've worn as shadow for the last month. Bite Beauty Multi Sticks can actually be worn on lips, cheeks, and eyes, but I particularly love the shade Cashew as a dirty pink on eyelids, and Almond, which is a more intense brick brown, completely matte and long-lasting. A sale is certainly a good time to lash out on a luxury brand you can't usually justify, and that's Tom Ford for me. I only have two of his products, and this double-ended eye-defining pen is the best eyeliner I've ever used. One end has a brush for seamless cat eyes, and the other is a teeny tiny felt tip to get really close to the lash line. How many VIB videos have these babies been in this year? Urban Decay Naked Heat was the hottest palette release in 2017 and a must for warm shadow lovers with a nice mix of mattes and shimmers. A more recent purchase for me was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I'd had this on my wish list for well over a year and finally caved after seeing so many amazing artists using it. Another great warm selection with highly pigmented mattes. A few safe bets for lip product lovers now. I've raved about the Bobbi Brown crushed lip colors in a separate video before. A brilliant blend between a stain and a lipstick, this one. Creamy, blotted color straight from the bullet. Blackberry is a dark brown favorite of mine. Plum is a rich pinky berry, but Ruby and Grenadine are next on my list. Back on the Burberry bandwagon and their lip cover in Oxblood is a striking vampy berry in a very smooth matte formula. For something a bit more subtle, maybe try the Fresh Sugar Tinted Lip Treatments, a luxe tinted lip balm that gives you a nice wash of color in a wide range of shades. Rosé is a perfect subtle pink, 
and berry is a bolder choice. Recent balm favorites include the Drunk Elephant Lip for a smooth, creamy finish in this chunky little stick. I love it so much I'm still scraping the rest out of my last one. And the La Neige Lip Sleeping Mask, a thick, glossy balm that leaves lips really soft in the morning. Swapping to skincare now, Jalique is one of my favorite Aussie brands made in my home state of South Australia. Their Rose Water Balancing Mist is so refreshing and the truest rose scent I've found in a facial spray. Their Rose Hand Cream is also lovely to use, another one I go through quite regularly. It's super creamy and sorts out your hands and cuticles overnight. The Dior Hydrolife Glow Better Fresh Jelly Mask is a Bella Hadid approved exfoliating mask that really will make you glow better. And I love the fresh apricot scent. Glam Glow's Flash Mud Brightening Treatment is another that leaves you with fresh, smooth, glowing skin. Comes in this smaller travel size, which is a good way to test it out. And the Quarterly Beauty Elixir is a more luxurious treat for face mist lovers. A seriously refreshing boost with a strong minty scent that revives skin and helps set makeup. Plus the Drunk Elephant Little Set, something I bought recently because I'd heard so many rave reviews about this cult skincare range. Can't wait to give it a go. A sale is a particularly good time to try some travel size products like this before you buy the real deal. So that's given you a look at a wide range of Sephora stocked products that are much loved in my collection already. But what's on my list if I was shopping the sale myself? Quite a bit actually. <laughs> Tom Ford is right up the top. The Honeymoon and Disco Dust eyeshadow palettes come highly recommended by so many people. The Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat for some more punchy matte orange shadows and the Dior palette in Sienna Embrace as worn by Alana Davison. Kevin O'Quan's Diamond Eye Gloss for a super shimmery, glossy eye look inspired by Katie Jane Hughes and just about everything from Milk Makeup. I get so many requests to try this brand and it's high on my Sephora wish list for my upcoming trip. Stay tuned for a review. But skincare is where it gets more serious for me. I always hear people buzzing about the fresh soy face cleanser and their rose face mask. Same about the Glow Recipe watermelon sleeping mask and the Laneige water sleeping mask. So intrigued by both of those. Heard good things about Pharmacy's Honey Potion Mask too. And Summer Friday's Jet Lag Mask is a new release from two influencers, but it gets really good reviews. Going from Fridays to Saturday skin seems to be everywhere at the moment as well, so I'd like to give that a whirl. And finally, an eye cream that sounds so good it might actually make me buy my first ever eye cream. Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright. I'm exhausted just thinking about all of that shopping ahead, so I hope this has given you a few ideas of what to check out during the sale, which runs from April 20 to April 23. 15% off for VIB members and 10% off for Beauty Insiders. Let me know what's on your wish list or if you've put anything in those black and white striped shopping bags already. And please report back later and share what you buy during the sale. Happy shopping! See you next time!